as simple and easy as it is to use the eyedropper tool to pick up and apply colors. There's an easier method when you want to get several colors, particularly in an image, if you want to choose the most common colors in an image. That's where this other tool behind the eyedropper comes in, the color theme tool. Select that and you get this cursor. And as you can see, when I hover over objects, it outlines them. That tells me this is the object that the color theme is going to be generated from. So if I now click on the Paris image, up pops this little color theme panel. InDesign has analyzed that image and chosen these five most common colors from the image. So here is my skyish color down near the horizon. Here's the main sky color, obviously black and white, pretty close, not pure black and white. And then this reddish color. Now I can choose to apply these. Notice I've got a loaded eyedropper. So I, let me click on the blue, or you know what? We'll click on the reddish one, the burnt umber, and highlight the text and we'll make it that color. Then we'll click on the blue and we'll fill in this frame. And maybe we'll highlight the text and make it that color. So you can see how I'm creating these colors and using these colors much more quickly than if I had picked up each one and applied it individually. And if you want to add swatches for all of these colors, you just click this button. It creates a folder and adds the swatches to it. So I can then name this by double clicking on the color themes theme name, Paris background. And it would help if I spelled it correctly. Then I can click this button and add this theme to my current CC library. And you can see it just added it here. Bucket list travel final colorful. That's the document name and the colors. Now those colors are available to me in Photoshop, Illustrator and other programs, all of my mobile Adobe apps, all from InDesign. So InDesign not only becomes a useful tool all by itself, it becomes a very useful color sampling tool for getting colors out of an image and putting them in your creative cloud for use in all of your applications.